Hi guys, Tracy here from Red Wind Studio. Uh, it seems like all the videos I've been doing lately have been me wandering around the store showing you um, stuff that I sell and not my main focus which is painting furniture. So today, before we open, I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about the, the secretary that I've been working on. I haven't taken very many pictures. I forgot to take one before I started sanding it all down. Um, I've just been crazy busy trying to get everything ready for Christmas here at the, the studio. So that being said, I am taking a little breather right now. Today I'm focusing on this. I have no workshops tonight. Um, a wonderful friend came in yesterday when I had to run out. She did some cleaning up for me. So today I get to focus on, on um, hopefully getting this close to done. But um, as you can see with secretaries, there's lots of little cubbies and um, occasionally there are screws up in here that, that hold it in place and there this is easy to pop out, which makes it a little bit easier to, to paint. Um, if you're a sprayer and you're using um, a spray gun, that is fabulous. I don't, I can't use a spray gun in my studio, so um, I've never attempted that. But um, that being said, it has to be painted and it needs to be painted by hand. So that can be a real challenge in spots like that. So um, sometimes paint brushes like, like this with the little short handle works really well and that would typically get in there. But these are really tiny and this is fairly wide. So um, a while back uh, I had started using the little tiny Klingon brush and um, any of you that know me I always wet my brush ahead of time and I give it a, a few good shakes I accidentally was a little too vigorous with my shaking and I snapped the, the end of the handle off which is fine um, because it helps um, in situations where it's there's tight spots so this is what I've been using um, it's a little bit tedious but you get you can get in there it's nice and small. You still get a pretty good um, smooth finish because it is a Klingon brush, um, but it's tiny enough that it gets in there, but it still holds a decent amount of paint. The Klingon brushes, despite um, them looking smaller than the big poofy rounded or oval natural brushes, they do hold a fair amount of paint. So that's what I've been using um, to get into these uh, little cubbies. So don't be afraid, even with a good brush like this, if you need to, um, drop the handle down on it. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit off balance, but I would rather be a little bit off balance than fighting to get into tight spots. It can be a real pain in the butt. And although this is honestly one of my favorite brushes of all time, um, it's just a little bit too wide for these tiny spaces. So this is this is it. So, so far on this um, guy, I have Dove. The color Dove is going on the inside and uh, Stark is going on the outside. Those are the two colors that um, my customer has requested. Uh, I'm trying to paint around things because the, some of these screws don't wanna come out and I don't want to fight with them too much because we've decided that we want to keep that natural weathered old patina on them and if I start um, prying and whacking at them and, and um, doing too much work on the screws trying to get them out sometimes you start to knock that patina off and then you get nice bright shiny brass popping through and we don't want that so I am just going to be careful I'm going to paint around them carefully and in the camera here you can see that this is really sloppy looking which is fine so because there's going to be a door um it's off right now it's actually i'll show you it right here so this is the door that goes on there so i've got one coat of uh the dove on there and i don't have anything on the back yet i mean it's pretty weathered but check this out these this is going to look really nice um, once it's done. So that is going to be going on there, but oh, it's not going to stand up there. Hold on. So once that gets on there, um, it's going to obviously fold up and lean up against here and I'm going to want a nice clean edge. So I will be getting my wonderful frog tape that I love. 
Um, there are some things I do use tape for. I don't like using tape, but there are some things that I definitely use it. And this is one of those situations. So what I will do is I will line my tape up along the edge of this here, and I'll run it right down here. So I'm gonna paint the dove out um, past it, then I'm gonna put the, the tape on, and then I'm gonna do the stark along here. And then when I peel the tape off, I'm gonna have a very nice smooth line of separation of those two colors. So those are a couple of the things that um, I'm dealing with with this. Some of the issues that um, you run into when you're doing a, a secretary. So I hope that information is helpful to some degree um, for anybody that's going to be tackling one of these. Take your time, don't get frustrated. Um, these tiny cubbies can uh, be time consuming and um, that's why I'm sitting on a chair. Don't stand and try and do this. Uh, sit and just take your time and yeah, work away at it, different angles. Um, sometimes if you hold your tongue in the right way, that helps too. <laughs> Anyways, just um, remember that if you are tackling it, um, get, get a brush that's appropriate for the size of the piece and um, just take your time and know that it's gonna be a, a bit of a work in progress. Anyways, guys, it is Friday and I didn't realize it's snowing out. Holy smokes, it's coming down pretty good. Anyways, you guys have a fabulous Friday. If you guys ever have any questions about painting furniture, um, please feel free to um, send me a message here on Facebook or um, pop into the studio. I'm always willing to answer your questions for you. Um, have a great day and happy painting.